Assalamualaikum guys Okay, uh, I'm teacher Zaida Today I want to share um, One tips, not not one tips Some tips and techniques uh, on how to answer The rational close question in SPM uh, exam Okay, rational close This one is a question normally a here in uh, section sorry in paper two uh, especially for question number nine to number fifteen okay and uh, as far as I know this question the, the, these types of question also is not very favored by uh, most students uh, it is because of they find out this is sometimes tricky because it comprises of uh, grammar uh, it's typically it's totally grammar questions, the parts of speech and also the vocabulary. Okay, uh, well, so normally, okay, uh, for close passage, you are given a short passage. Okay, so how? What is the first tip that you have to know here? The first one is you have don't uh, straight away answer the question. But you have to read read the whole passage first. Or if you don't want to read the whole passage, at least you read the first paragraph. So like in this one, I'm going to read starting from We live in a frightening world of death up to South America is growing so rapidly that these animals barely have a chance. This is a must. You have to read first. And after you read this, at least you have got, you know, the first idea about what the passage is all about. And whenever you read, you have to focus on the verb. Look at the verb. Like in this Example, the verb here is leave. The first one, leave. Where, where, what else? Where else? Other verbs. Another one, even more devastating is the is the truth. Another is, and also is done. So by looking at these verbs, so you know that this passage is in what tense? Present tense, right? Is this passage is written in present tense? All right. Okay. Don't bother. Don't don't get confused with the word done, threatened. Don't think this one is past tense. No, this one is like is done here. Is the passive form or passive sentence in present tense? Okay, alright, so now let's um, try to answer the first question. Okay, I'm going to read first. We live in a frightening world of death and destruction. Even more devastating is the truth. Much of this harm is done by men. Okay, so now look at the number one options. You are given four, so you have to cross out the illogical answers. Normally, there are two illogical answers in every question. Okay, which which are the two here? Are the illogical? Okay, first and foremost, definitely see what is illogical here. It's not relevant at all, right? Even more diversity is the truth. What must know? Which much also no. So we just have this much and that much. So which one is more appropriate? Okay. Tara. Okay. What is answer that? Right. Okay. Let's let's put it here. Even more devastating is the truth that much of this harm is done by men. Right. Okay. So let's take a look at number two. One in four mammals threatened with extinction. This is another uh, grammatical grammar rules, right? You have to know that one in four mammals it shows singular or plural. Don't get confused with mammals. There, mammals definitely is plural, but in this in this case, you have 
the word one one in four mammals mean one satu right so this one is sing singular same thing goes to one one of my students so i'm talking about one of many satu dari ba banyak so the answer here must be in must you must use singular verb so which one is a singular verb you have is and also was right these are the singular verb definitely are and were you have to cross out they are wrong right so now which one is or was Hmm. As I said, that's why I have to. Uh, I want you to focus on the tenses in the first place. So you, we know that uh, this passage is in present tense. So you have to use is instead of was. So the answer is one in four mammals is threatened with extinction. Okay, alright. So, I think that's all. Um, I think um, it's enough for me to give two uh, tips here for two questions. Okay, so please be remembered um, okay, to read the whole, whole passage and look at the verb. Okay, so that's all. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum.